In compliance with FCC regulations, this station is prohibited from exercising control over the content of independently produced programming. Getting there with a man who carries roses. A bundle of cut stems drying in his fist. No words exchanged, only looks that quickly volley back and forth. Then, seated side by side on this Port Authority bus heading for Hoboken, knees touching when I ask, how are them roses holding up? He asks if I would like to have one, then adds something for your girlfriend. The single long-stemmed beauty now starting to fall apart as I lift it up to my face. The bus first veering this way, that way. Soon the entire length of our thighs pressing hard against each other as we ride in silence the rest of the way home. To allow himself to be properly held, he had to let his body soften, give it unguarded, willingly to her. It meant suspension of achievement, a celebration in a country without government. Always he desired the getting there, loved in fact getting lost on the way. But too often, too soon, he'd think of the office or a program he was missing on TV. He'd feel his body pull back into his self like a man closing his own shop midday for reasons he didn't understand. He'd roll away thinking to himself, this is pleasure too, knowing He'd need different words. Yet whatever his explanation, she knew it beforehand, several touches ago. She does not seem to know her husband stops at a roadside strip club each night after work. Nor does she know he gets taken for an extra 20 to some back room where those pussies in fishnet panties hover just inches from his face night after night in some hypnotic dance. Nor does she know he somehow chooses not to touch, only to be witness to this extremity. And every night he returns to the wife at home inexplicably refreshed his credentials. He says he did it with a boy or two, long before his pubes set in. Says he'd do it again, were he not already married. Says his wife completely understands, having done it herself with a sorority girl, long before they ever met. I'm drinking my beer as slowly as I can, nursing it like the truth I know will finally get told, peeling off the labels on my Amstel light, first the neck, working my way down the front, and then the back. This could take all night. In a place without light, we have our sex. The cool harbor of bathroom floors. The cerebral smell of tile. I wait with mouth open, adjacent to the rim, for fluid, perfect and unclear. I wait for a place where cells won't die in the mouth, but leap off the tongue, wise and physical 
like gods. 